Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business. And we have something very special for you, our listeners today, with a training that we did recently on the Clubhouse platform. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Clubhouse, it is a social networking app where people create rooms and discuss a wide range of topics. And because it's delivered direct to your mobile device, you may notice a difference in audio quality, which we're hoping doesn't take away from your listening experience. What is important, of course, is the content that we're sharing. And I invite you to be intentional with what you wish to receive from listening today. How do you want to feel after you have listened to our session? For more information on how you can join us on future Clubhouse meetings with me, Louisa Havers, be sure to check out the show notes below and we will see you in the Clubhouse. Hey everybody and welcome to the room. Welcome to the Align Success in Your Coaching Business. My name is Louisa Havers and I help entrepreneurs and coaches break through their income ceilings working with the Akashic Records, Energy Kinesiology and Business Strategies and sharing stories and experiences today of how you can become aligned with success in your coaching business. And of course, as we're having this conversation, we'd love to hear from you and your experiences. And so do raise your hand when you feel called and we'd love to have the conversation with you. For me, having aligned success in business comes down to 90% alignment and 10% strategy. And this is because our business is an expression of ourselves. And as we go through the different levels of our business, our staff gets kicked up. I'm sure this resonates with those of you that are in the audience and, of course, listening to the replay. Our identity and our relationship with ourselves changes so much as we're growing our businesses. And this is this is the, the key constant, our evolving identity. And as we grow and evolve of course, so does our business grow and evolve. And every new level of growth requires an expansion, an expansion in our identity. And when we resist this, this can create a, a misalignment because what we, what we resist persists. Who else has heard that, that saying before? So my invitation to you today is to think about what, what does aligned success mean to you and how do you keep yourself aligned as you grow your your business and if you would like to come and join me up on the stage you're very welcome to do so I'd love to hear from you this is an opportunity for you to share what you do how you help people how you serve people and to think about how you are offering and keeping yourself in alignment as you grow your business. So if I just kick the conversation off with some of the key blocks that I see bubbling up for people, I think the biggest one is, and this is one that's not often talked about actually, is not loving yourself enough. And this can be because of past hurts and they can be bubbling up because of, you know, right back from when we were in childhood, things, things that happened at school, previous relationships, relationships, imprinting from parents and of course if you don't love yourself enough what happens is you subconsciously restrict and deny what you truly want which again then creates huge resistance and contraction and this can bubble up at any stage in business and this is where we can hold on to hurts and resentments or we start to we hide them we don't even know that they're there consciously we've pushed them down and forgotten about them and our subconscious is is holding on to them so my invitation to you is how can you love yourself how can you love yourself more each day? Because when you do, you'll make better decisions, ones that support and serve you. And so this is something that I think is, is absolutely key, is being able to work on that self-love. And often people don't make that association between success in business and their level of self-love and how they're loving themselves and honouring their own boundaries within that. Does that make sense? The other one that pops up for people, fantastic. I will, looking forward to you joining me up on stage. I can see Gail has raised a hand and Jackie's here as well. Welcome. Going to 
add to you to come up here when you're ready. There we go. Fantastic. Welcome, Gail. Hello, Louisa. How, How are you? I'm good, thank you, lovely. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, uh, so, I couldn't agree more with what you've just said. Fantastic. So we want to tell everyone a little bit about what you do, who you help, and then we can dive in. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Yes. Well, you know, you, I think you tap really well into what I'm doing. So I'm a, I'm a empowerment coach and obviously I help people with, you know, just working on their themselves and their self-love and their, uh, exactly what you've just covered. So <laughs> that's why I couldn't <laughs> not agree with you. <laughs> yeah, you must see it a lot in the, the work that you do. Um, with with people in terms of self love, is it something that you find that um, surprises people when they're wanting to have more empowerment? That this is a, a, an angle that comes up for people that they hadn't thought of. Yes, quite often um, they don't realise that actually because uh, they don't love themselves or they think they do, but mm. they actually don't, and it's literally. Uh, very much um you know like like it, it's subconscious so mm. they don't realize they have this issue until you work on it and then realize that the only way they're going to empower themselves is by you know loving themselves respecting themselves respecting their boundaries and i know that because i've been through this myself so and and this relates very well with what you say about your business because if you don't value yourself then your business will suffer absolutely it's it's so true our, our businesses are a reflection of what's going on internally we can use them like mirrors um i often say this to my clients is you know uh, like the body will reflect what's going on in the in the business as well if people are feeling like they've got kidney pain or they're noticing something's going on in their spine and then they you know they're not feeling supported by their business the, their body is going to start speaking to them to give them clues about where they can where they need to look internally so that they heal heal that wound that trauma so it doesn't bubble up in their business and then of course in their in their body as body as well 100 percent. i i agree it's, it's quite often our our body speaks to us and we don't listen to it and it's actually it's not actually our body it's our soul talking via mm. our body and it can be very easy to ignore in a way it really can it really can we, we we can tolerate it can't we in terms of thinking that it's just our way our body is because it can creep up on us rather than um whenever it's something that suddenly dramatically happens then we pay attention but the incremental creeps can um sneak up on us <laughs> without being able to with people just ignoring it and not not paying attention i'd love to know your your thoughts on in terms of one of the other things that bubbles up a lot I see for people is around as people are growing and, and scaling their business is this this uh, subconscious fear of leaving the community behind so this can really play out in business and take people out of alignment um, where they they don't want to leave anybody behind so this could be family it could be a group of friends um, you know, the, the, whatever the community is, where they identify with that group, we we have these subconscious agreements and rules that mm -hmm. you know we're, we're we're part of, and we feel like we're breaking them. We're letting people down on a subconscious level if we if we leave that community behind, and of course, it creates a huge amount of resistance within ourselves. Have you, has this been a, a fear that you've seen with your clients bubbling up and that's impacted them in their their success in in life um, and in business or yes. something something that you've yes. seen for yourself? Totally, and they don't realise they're attached to a tribe, and mm. uh, you know they they basically put themselves uh, into situation because of subconscious. Um, uh, I would say it's not even agreement, but you know, it's like glass ceiling they put on themselves about a lot of things. It could be um, success in mm -hmm. their business, it could be money as well. It could be a lot of those different things, and they don't realize it's there because it's it's kind of subconscious. And so, because they don't want to let people down, because you know, also families is great in some ways where they potentially support you and say that how marvelous you are and how everything is is fabulous and how you're doing really well but you sometimes need to also have your eyes open 
on things that you might not do as well as you could do and have someone who can support you to just be actually, you know, quite, um, quite, I wouldn't say they support you, but at the same time, um, they just tell you as it is because you need to be sometimes be told mm. that things that you're doing might not be, you know, helping you or supporting you in your business. And uh, so those things are, are quite important. But yeah, being in a tribe and also when you've been within a circle for quite a long time, you sometimes can be afraid to actually, uh, you know, leave those friends because you don't know whether you're going to have, you know, uh, you know, support elsewhere. And mm. and what we don't realize, the, the, the five people you spend the most time with are the people that really impact your life in, you know, whatever way. So you better make sure that they are actually people who are supportive and, and lift you upwards rather than actually keeps you, you know, keep, keep the lead on you or keep you at the same level or even drag you down in a way. Yes, that's so true that um, the five people that you spend the most time with um, is a is a reflection of where where you're at. And um, I think it's one of the fears that, like you spoke to, spoke of in relation to people thinking that if they leave their tribe, they're, they're not going to have anybody there. The, the flip side of that is to look at there's another tribe, another community waiting for you waiting for you with open arms that are waiting for you just to step towards them so as we social circles change there is another one that you're about to to step into and the other the aspect to consider is that if we approach this from an energetic place of expecting that those that love us will want to celebrate with us and allow us to be an inspiration of what's possible that change in rather than being in that fear place of I'm worried I'm leaving this community behind is actually being able to recognize that by changing our energy around us we change our experience of go- growing beyond our community because we're becoming part of new communities and that energetic attitude just changes everything anyway mm-hmm. yes yes I couldn't agree with you more it's it's uh this is this is key I yeah think. this is really key what what do you, you what do you do in terms of so because I know you have your, as you mentioned to everybody earlier you have your own coaching business how do you keep yourself aligned and and making decisions that are in alignment within your own coaching business? I try to surround myself that people are going to lift me up words and can really help me to let's say where I've got gaps mm-hmm. to help me with those gaps uh, you know be skill set be knowledge or even be bouncing off someone because sometimes when you're too much in your own head uh you can't you know you can't see the woods for the tree basically (laughs) so it's quite nice to have people who are uplifting you know people like yourself for example and uh and and really sort of make you think Mm. and see things in in a different light because sometimes you might not be able to see it that way so and, and that's what I provide as well to my clients. Sometimes it's just shifting their perspective on, on something they're looking at and they don't realize that, you know, by looking at it this way rather than that way, mm. that is going to, that really is changing their whole life. So, so for me, I've got different modalities that I'm using to help myself as well to, you know, just do some of the work by myself but obviously I think what matters to me and the way I work and the way um, that works best for me is to having the right people around me to Mm. really lift me higher it's so important so important and many people manifest by being in that frequency and in that community Um, and and certainly something that I know that I do uh, so I I highly recommend it for people is that because it's being able to brainstorm and also see people that are on that same journey as you have if there are a few steps ahead of you and you see the success that they've had that helps you with your manifesting because you know it's possible and also I always say to my clients in one of in my community groups that I um host and facilitate is to share your wins share your celebrations because if other people can see that then that helps them keep in alignment with their success they also know that they're in they're in the frequency of success because they can see it so uh, and it's such a simple thing to do but it's such a powerful thing to do so I always invite people to to share their wins and not only for their own benefit so that we can 
celebrate with them and add extra energy to that but also so that other people that are in the community can see that success and it can help them with their belief and faith if they're a few steps behind perhaps they're not yet seeing the results that they're craving it's so important for being able to help yes. people everybody being going in that direction of growing and evolving beyond the version of themselves that they they were before totally and and ce celebrating the small wins because i used to forget about that because mm. i was always like the big wins and the big goals and the big things and and the small wins are just a little step that gets you to the big win and i think we're all guilty of forgetting those and and you know activating the law of repetition when yes. they happen because <laughs> then you can attract more as you say and manifest more in your life exactly law of repetition is one of my favorite laws to to work with i'm so glad you 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 mentioned that i'm just going to do a quick reset of the room because i know we have new people that have joined us so just a huge welcome to everyone who's joined us in the, our group today for the alliance success in, in your coaching business my name is louisa havers and i help entrepreneurs and coaches break through their income ceilings working with the Akashic Records, energy kinesiology and business strategies. And we're sharing stories and experiences of how you can create aligned success in your coaching business, talking about some of the blocks and resistances that can bubble up for people uh, along the journey of expansion. And of course, we'd love to hear from you. So if you'd like to join us in the conversation, go ahead and raise your hand by clicking on the little button in the bottom right hand corner. And then we'll bring you up on, up on stage. So we're talking about these blocks and resistances that can come up for, for people. One of the other ones um, that comes up, and it'd be interesting to see if anyone in the audience, and of course, Gail, who's joined me here on stage, if this resonates for you, the busy block. So this is the one that I call it the busy block because it's where we can get caught up in the day-to-day -day of, of doing the do not spending much time tuning in and focusing on what we truly desire. This just completely takes us out of alignment. What we want to be in the place that we have that aligned success is to be really intentional. So coming from a place of, I've decided this is what I want to experience because that decision energy is so powerful. So that from that space, our path, our actions support that vision rather than keeping us on that busy train. So practice that I do, it'd be great to hear from you in a minute, Gail. Practice that I do is being really intentional with your day and asking myself great questions. So I find that really helps and something I coach my clients with as well. So it's a great, a great filter that and a frame that you can have to, to shape your day. This is one of my favorite questions to ask. So I'm gonna give this one to everybody is how, how can today be easy? How can I do this with ease? Why do I find things so effortless and easy like any version of how can it be easy basically can really set you up for the day when you're coming at it from that filter rather than just going headlong you know you wake falling out of bed and going straight into 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 work have have you ever experienced the the busy block gail <laughs> oh Yes, <laughs> I was the queen of this. Oh, were you? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, and, and I was actually quite bad with my routine. So there's days where I would exactly do what you said, wake up, be on the phone and start replying to people and stuff. I'm not self-caring, I'm not self-loving, mm. I'm not doing any of that. Um, and, and so I've shifted now that I actually do what matters to me. So my cup is full first thing in the morning. And then, so I've got no guilt later on during the day <laughs> that if I haven't got time suddenly to do things. And and literally a bit similar to what you say is, is how can I manifest you know, the highest outcome today? You know, mm. what, what can I do? Or, you know, can I be guided to basically have the best outcome on the day or the highest outcome on the day? Um, and see with go with the flow in a way, but also being mindful that obviously some tasks maybe need to be done, uh, but always checking in whether this is the right thing to do at the time or if something else is more important. And you know, just listening to myself a lot more, mm. be more in tune with my own intuition in a way. And that's so important because I, for for me, what I've seen with with myself and with my clients is that it, that builds trust. 
because if you don't trust yourself, it really shows your team, your clients aren't able to trust you either. Even if they're not telling you, what happens is it has a knock on impact on your sales. And I find that the main reason most coaches and entrepreneurs don't trust themselves is because they haven't fulfilled a promise. Even if it's when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to do self-care first and they've fallen into that pattern of doing their, you know, answering messages on the phone or whatever it may be. They've broken this promise to themselves, this agreement. Mm -hmm. And of course, this chips mm -hmm. away at your self-esteem. You're basically saying you can't trust yourself to do what you say you're going to do. And this has a massive impact on your energetic vibration. Yes, agreed, 100%, because that means you're not respecting yourself. Exactly. So your brain simply kind of starts to create this belief, well, I don't do what I say I'm going to do. So therefore, and I don't follow through. So therefore, I can't be trusted. It becomes a huge source of self-sabotage, but then also like a lack of belief in terms of your goals. Because if you say I'm going to create a seven-figure business or an eight-figure business or a six-figure business, wherever you are at where you make that promise to yourself, right? I'm going to do this. If you haven't been fulfilling your other promises, your brain's going, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. <laughs> so we want to be in a space of trusting ourselves to follow through on what we've already committed to so then we can say our brain starts to learn and create beliefs around well she she always follows through on what she says she's going to do so therefore I know I have faith and certainty that we are going to manifest and go create this seven figure business this multi six figure business whatever the you know the next step in your business growth is mm -hmm. Then yes, trust. Tr trusting yourself, you're right, is 100%. Like, it is the key thing. If you don't trust yourself, and I know for a long time I thought I was trusting myself, but then I realized that unconsciously I wasn't trusting myself. Mm. Um, and that, that became like a bit of a shock to me because I thought, well, you know, I've always delivered, da, 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 but yeah, I've always delivered when it was in the corporate world or, you know, whatever. But once I was, uh, you know, sort of self employed and so on. I don't know what shifted there, but I realized I wasn't. So it was quite interesting to discover that. So you're mm. trusting yourself is paramount. It, and, it, and it really enhances anything that you're manifesting. So that often people will say that, um, you know, I've done all the things, I haven't man manifested this, I haven't had the success in my business yet that I want. And it's looking at these emotions and beliefs and the frequencies of these that we're holding in our subconscious that we may not even be aware of until we start to bring this self-awareness to the forefront that impacts our attitudes our the way we take action the the speed that we take action with it affects all of this so of course ultimately it has this impact on the success that we have in in our in our coaching businesses and, yeah, like, and that's where the, the, as you just said, the energetic misalignment occur because you think one way, but actually you're, you're sending different vibes, you're sending different vibration out there, which are not matching. And so obviously you're not going to be manifesting if you're not matching. No, a hundred percent. It's going to create a very wobbly, wobbly manifesting <laughs> experience. <laughs> of it. And, and then of course it, it can recreate a lot of people I see that are struggling with manifesting is because they are working on, let's put it this way, working on building that faith and certainty that is going to happen. Know that if you have the intention to create something, any obstacle that has come up or you will face as a result of that intention and that decision that you're going to experience it at that same moment, you have already got the solution there. Everything's created in the now. So whilst, and I think that can be really comforting when people are in that space of how the hell am I here where I am? I want to be there is knowing, okay, I can get there. Everything's created in the now moment. That means I've spoken about this before obstacles become the way so that you can move through them knowing and trusting yourself and loving yourself along the way. So you're not burning out that you're able to keep that self care, allow yourself to have time in the being state, not just in the doing state as, <laughs> oh, as yes. so yeah, less busy, more being <laughs> so that you can create your business with more ease and more, more flow. Because if we're second guessing ourselves and not doubting ourselves, we're never going to make the right choice. We hesitate around decision making. We hesitate around action taking. And of course, doubt just attracts more doubt. Mm -hmm. And I think you're right. The, the being 
it's really allowing yourself to really tap into your, you know, into the best of your mm. vibration and, and your higher frequency. Completely, completely. So one of the questions for our listeners to think about is how do I know when I'm not aligned in my business? So to think about, okay, what might start to, to show up? Where might I see it in my body? Where might I see it in my business? Thinking about your external reality as a reflection of what's going on internally. So how do you know when you aren't aligned in your business? So what can you do about it? How do you get yourself back into alignment? So for me, it's around noticing what's coming up in my energy field, recognizing what the mirrors are showing in my business and in my body, and then doing the energy work around it so that I bring myself back into alignment and can continue growing and expanding beyond the point that I want. And one of the key things for me is around is the self-identity and step, taking myself every step of the way into the next version of myself and recreating my identity over and over and over again. I think one of the things that has bubbled up and it'd be interesting to to hear from anyone else in the audience that wants to step forward is this to see if this is resonant for you as well Gail is the feeling of being unsafe to show up and be seen so this, everyone has this at some point so whether it's going live coming up and speaking on stage here speaking in a Facebook group or writing a post or writing an email whatever version it is for you in your in people's businesses and our lovely, lovely subconscious wants to keep us safe. And, you know, from a primal perspective, actually being seen isn't safe. You know, <laughs> the, out in the, in the jungle, you could get killed, eaten by a tiger or whatever it might be. <laughs> so our subconscious thinks that if we are seen, we're a target for something bad, you know, some negative thing. So, of course, in the business land, it could be criticism or we might be expecting somebody from our past to turn up some could be the mean bullies at school mm -hmm. an ex you know the a toxic relationship we may subconsciously somehow be expecting that to be recreated within our business and then things can be re feel really really scary and people can contract and again take themselves out of out of alignment and of course totally every time and it can be things like sorry to interrupt you that's all right it can be it can be things like you know, when you first start there going, oh, what are those people that, you know, I used to work with are going to think, you know, mm. uh, like, you know, maybe I'm not an expert or I'm not, what what gives me the right to talk about those things or, you know, all those kind of stuff that sometimes just make you feel quite unsafe, yes. um, especially initially, you know, when you start your business and where you almost feel like you need to prove yourself when, who do you really need to prove yourself to, I think. <laughs> you know. well that you're right I think because we can get to, this is kind of feeds into imposter syndrome doesn't it in the sense of yes. like oh I'm not as good as everybody else and we're in that comparisonitis mode whereas actually if we can say the only person I'm going to compare myself to is myself so how can I be better than I was the day you know the day before how can I be better than the, the version of me from from yesterday that gives a different focus point and it, your energy goes where your focus is. So your attraction point, your vibrational attraction point is different when you just compare yourself to yourself and not other people. <laughs> Which is really hard. Really yeah. Really hard. So um, one of the and you're right. Being seen is, is about, you know, not having that perception. Really. Mm. One of the hacks and the affirmations that I use to help my subconscious feel safe as I'm growing and expanding for, you know, from multi six figures and, and beyond is I tell myself I'm safe, I'm supported, I'm protected as I grow my business. And I say that to soothe my ego. I talk about this a lot with my clients and the wealth portal and in the infinite prosperity collective is this fear <laughs> just gets kicked up as we're growing and expanding and one of the biggest um, hacks that we need to do to keep our subconscious feeling safe as we grow and expand is to is to I call it soothing the ego it's okay mm -hmm. ego I've got this I'm choosing to be here and it really does work um, so it's I'm safe I'm calm I'm supported I'm protected as I grow my business and just saying that a couple of times you can just feel your heart come back into coherence again so you can keep moving forward take that aligned action so that you can grow grow your business yes yes i think um 
I know I know in the past I've you know been in that situation where I, I didn't feel safe mm. where I felt really challenged and um, which was just you know either financially or things like that and there's stuff that I wasn't even aware of and uh, by you know trying to soothe indeed your amygdala and just you know just calm down your system you're just trying to literally bring back to feeling safe in a way mm. and and uh you know as you said it's so important because yeah. once you're in that mode it's very difficult to move forward mm. because you're really in that circle um and so yeah i can i can relate to some of what you just said and you know because i've yeah. I've experienced it. Mm. What would you say then is the biggest mindset shift that you've had as you've been growing your business? I think it's been to really, um, and I know it's very hard to do, but let go of Mm -hmm. the outcome. Mm. Uh, Just trust the process and trust yourself and and look after yourself. Although although it doesn't sound like... um, you know, something that your brain wants to do at the time. (laughs) And it's just going to kick off and do whatever you want. I think as long as you look after yourself first and really Mm. sort of fill your cup and literally say, look, the more you're going to push, the more you're going to push back, basically. It's almost like, Mm. you know, uh, the more you want this thing, the more you're going to almost like pull back because you're, you're not in the right energetic sort of level. And the more you just learn, actually let it go, just trust the process and things will just arrange themselves. Obviously, you need to take a line action, but at the same time, it's been learning to let go of the outcome. You don't mm. know what the outcome is going to be as long as you do something. And, but you also look after yourself and you, 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 that is the first thing that you can do. Then the rest will, will follow. And I think mm. that's probably my biggest key lesson gold thank you for sharing that that's just so powerful and everyone who's um joined us live and of course listening to the replay is gonna be taking that one away and uh, i think for me one of the biggest shifts is recognizing that the different types of decisions that i would have made for different opportunities that i'm presented with along the way and a helpful technique i found is to consider the opportunities from a perspective of the me that has already created what i want to create so that next level in my business so from rather than from a place of um, perhaps, you know, when you first start your business, you've got different decisions to make, different mindset because you've come from wherever you've come. So you're creating your new mindset at that space is to think about, OK, so and I know when I hit six figures, I was considering, OK, so what would the multi six figure version of me what decision would they make about where I am right now? And of course, now I'm going to the high level multi six figures is thinking about okay so what would that version of me think about the decisions that I've got to make now and it's so helpful when you put yourself in a position of the future version of yourself and think okay so what decision would that me make about now and then what Mm. beliefs do I have as that seven figure business owner what's so what's this version of me doing in this situation and then really allow yourself to sit with that as you consider that because as you're doing that you're visualizing as well creating the frequency around that but also it stops you from making any any knee-jerk reactions or decisions from a place of fear or con- contraction because of course if you're mm-hmm. thinking about your future version of yourself it's coming from an expanded place so i found that as one of the the biggest shifts to help me in terms of making decisions and keeping in that alignment for for success yeah, you're right, because I think, you know, once you sort of when you're into those higher six figure, mm. you're really thinking, right, OK, so how can I grow my business? So who do I need to have around me who can support me to grow that business? Because it's very rare that you can do it by yourself. So who can I add in my team that's going to really make a difference to take it to the next level? And, you, you know, you, you've got to really think strategically how to hit that next level, because, yeah, you can't do it by yourself. You need mm. a team around you. Be you know, marketing, the uh, financial sort of or content or operation managers or, you know, mm-hmm. someone who's going to help you to really, so you can really do the strategic thing and what you're, what you're best at, right? But what's your really key core sort of, um, 
added value mm. and what, what is your and follow your passion because it's this role that you don't want to do you you have to do initially but then when I, when you grow you're going to delegate those things because that's not where your forte is and that's the best way to build your business to go to you know as you say towards seven figures business yes exactly so before we wrap up Gail, i'd love to know what does align success what does that mean to you mm-hmm. <laughs> to me it's like it's literally doing what i love every day mm. having the right team around me um and, and i'm talking like team that works with me but also mentors and, and coaches that really sort of lift me up mm. and 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 serving my clients to the highest level possible the, with the highest version of me uh, and, and giving them, you know, I've invested tons in, in, in sort of my training in the people around me. And, and so for me, it's like delivering to them the mm. best I've learned, the best I can bring them and literally see them transforming. I absolutely love this. This is my biggest gift mm. that they give me and maybe that I give them, but I see it as the gift they give me is like seeing them really transforming and and becoming just amazing. Yeah, oh, I love it. And of course, the more you grow your business, the bigger impact you make, the more people that you can work with. It's just such a joy. Just came off my Infinite Prosperity Collective call where we talk about all the things in the marketing and the manifesting and always have big celebrations at the beginning of the calls around. And everyone always talks about client successes and the joy that it gives them when their clients, you know, have healed from, you know, migraines because they've been doing deep chakra work or, or whatever it may be. And it is just, it's such a celebration being able to make that difference and make that impact in, in life and in exactly. our businesses. So it feels like we're drawing a natural close to our conversation. We'd love to stay connected. So if you haven't already followed Gail, then invite you to follow Gail. Thank you, Gail, for joining me with the conversation today around aligned success in your coaching business. And everybody who's thank catching. you for having me. It's <laughs> You're a welcome. pleasure to join you in the first place. I was totally unexpected, so you know, happy <laughs> I was around. <laughs> I never know who's going to jump on, which I absolutely love Clubhouse, and for that reason, and love the intimacy of it, where you can just have conversations with people. So we're doing this every week. Um, so I invite everybody to to join us next week at six thirty, where we'll carry on the conversation around energetic self mastery and and business success. And of course, invite everyone to follow the speakers and to stay connected here and and over on Instagram as well. And until then, thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you today and uh, have a great week. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks, Risa. Take care. <laughs> Bye, Gail. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.